Okay, this is a, another quick uh, video on using the Z table. In the previous video, we discussed the basics of the Z distribution and using the Z table. This video is just to give us some more practice and to use a more applied problem. So let's say that we have a, a test that I administer to one of my classes in the fall. Let's say, for example, the mean test score is an 85. Right? So pretty good. Let's say that our standard deviation for the class on this exam is 5. Now, Imagine if we wanted to know the percentage of scores that fall between a particular grade range, which may be a common question that students would ask. So let's say that students ask me, well, what percent of students in this course got a score between 85 and 90? on this particular exam. We see here that this range starts at our mean right? and goes to, to a higher score. So the column that we're going to be interested in in our Z table will be this column here, right? column B, the area between the mean and Z, because I'm interested in the area between my mean of 85 and this score of 90. So since we know that our standard deviation is 5 and 90 is 5 away from 85, we know that this is one standard deviation. But we could go ahead and compute the z value that I'm interested in. I'm going to want to compute the z value here for this raw score of 90 because I already know, of course, that my z value for my 85 is 0. Right? The mean always has a z value of 0, as we discussed before. So I'm looking for the area between 0 and whatever z value is associated with the score of 90. So I could take my x of 90 minus my mean of 85. That would give me 5 as my deviation score, divided by my standard deviation of 5. So my z-score would be 1, just as we anticipated, right? So the, the deviation from the mean in standardized units is 1. So what I'm really asking for in my applied problem is what percentage of scores fall between a z-score of 0 and a z-score of 1. So I would look here in my z table until I found my z score of 1, which is right here. And as we said before, we're interested in this column B, area between the mean and z, because we want to know what percentage of scores fall between the mean of 85 and a score of 90. And so I would see here that it is 34.13% of scores that fall between a value of 85 and 90. So approximately 34% of my students got, you know, anywhere from kind of a mid B to an A. Right. All right. Now, if, for instance, we asked what percentage of scores were higher than a 90, what percentage of students made above a 90? I would simply look to this column C, area beyond Z. So I know that, again, 90, the Z value associated with that is 1. So I'd look over here, and I would find that, let's see, 15.87% of students got above a 90 on the exam. And I could easily calculate taking 100 minus 15.87 to know what percentage of students got below 
a 90. So if I took 100 minus 15.87, 100 minus 15.87, I would know that 84.13% of students got below a score of 90 on the exam.